My name is Paul. I'm from I Can Do That Plumbing and today I'm going to show you how to change this single panel radiator for a double panel radiator without actually changing the pipe work or draining down your heating system. This is a single panel radiator. Okay, we're going to swap this radiator for a double panel radiator without actually changing the pipes and draining down the system. The first job we're going to do is isolate the radiator. Isolating the radiator on one side. We have isolated the radiator, the flow and return. We are now going to open the drain cock and we're going to drain the radiator into this container. I am now draining the radiator. We're now going to bleed the radiator. All the water that's coming from the radiator is now going into the container. We've, take, we've undone the bleed valve at the top and it's introducing air into the radiator plus moving the water out. Now the radiator is drained, we are now going to disconnect the flow and return on either side of the radiator, lift off the radiator and turn it upside down as to not lose any excess water. And just lift it up and she's crack. Okay. Just disconnect this. There she goes. She's good. We've just got to find that apart if we can. There she goes. She's prized apart. She's ready to lift the valve and disconnect. Now, all we have to do is turn it upside down. That's it. We are now going to take off the old brackets from the old radiator. Now everything is removed, we're going to offer up the new radiator and put the brackets on and then hang up. Now we need to measure from the floor to the centre of the valve because we're not going to move the valve. It may come or move a tiny bit but we're not going to touch the valve. As you can see, there's two panels doubling the heat of the previous radiator. About the bracket in place like so, and we measure from the top of the bracket to the centre of the valve hole, top of the bracket, down to there. Now we're going to take the plug out on the top here. And we're going to put our insert in, just there. Now what you do that is we use our PTFE. And we'll just spin it around two, three, somewhere about 10 or 11 times. Put a bit of post on there, like so. Put her in the hole. Being careful not to scrape the radio. Right, we'll take our plug out. Like that. Discard that, we don't need that. And again. With this, go around about 10 times. Eight, nine, ten. That's perfect. Great post. Um, this is a water sealing post. Very good. We'll put it in the holder. Nice and tight. Just get a nice bit of purchase on there. Right, here we go. See, this is the centre of the bracket here, so we're just going to put a tiny mark just there, like so. Put 
crash through there like so. Okay, and then we're just going to tap it in. Perfect. We'll do another one. Now we just repeat the other side. Give it Now we're going to hang our radiator. Now it might be a bit of pushing and shoving, but we'll get her in and see how she goes. This is perfect by the way. As you can see from my measurements, the um, radiator is level and the valves have now gone in to the inserts. So all we have to do now is do the valve up. We're now going to do the valve up. Hold against the radiator and make sure she doesn't move. You now have a double panel radiator giving out double the heat of the single radiator and we haven't drained the whole heating system or all the pipe work in any way. We'll just screw it on, screw it up, do it up so we can breathe the radiator. We we'll just put a cap at the other end. Now our radiator is fitted, as you can see, it's on in there quite nicely. Uh, we're now going to open the valves up. Okay, so we're going to start with opening the valves up. Now we're going to bleed the radiator. Now you can do that plumbing.